Hello and welcome everybody. Today is an exciting day here at We Roll Dice. I have in front of me here the Geller Pox Infected. One half of the Rogue Trader Kill Team expansion. Again, the Rogue Trader is an expansion to the Kill Team. You still need all the Kill Team rules. You still need that Kill Team Core rulebook. I've got these, I've got to get them assembled, i got to get them painted and ready to hit the table. Running a few games against buddy of mine Jay, he asked me, come on over, let's get something filmed. I said, I'm your man, let's do this. So i got to get these assembled quickly, got to get them a paint, all painted up quickly, so that we can get over there and uh, get some games in. Now, they can also be used... In 40k this is an excellent book here you've got uh, all your different rules for everyone I'm not gonna stick too long on those there but yeah it's it looks exciting these guys I'm most excited about the hall breakers they look amazing um, even this one hall breaker right here I'm thinking I use him as a beast and Urgle for my Blood Bowl team. Anyways, so yeah, we got, we got all the rules to use them in 40k, including stratagems and their point values. I'm so excited. Let's take a quick look at the instructions here, the put together. I mean, beautiful, so you can see how to paint. Uh, we'll skip by the actual Rogue Traders because I am going to be playing the Geller Pox Infected. What a name. Geller Pox Infected. It's, it's wonderful. Anyways, you can see how these just, yeah, it's it's uh, B08 attaches to B09 with B010 going on it. And then B11, B12, B13, B14. They literally go in order. How fantastic is that? B2 and B1 go together and you put B3. Wow. No, uh, that... Thank you, Games Workshop. Thank you. Makes it so much easier. You can literally, I don't even know if you need these. Just look at the sprue, pick a number, start putting things together until you get to the proper. But anyways, without further ado, um, let's, uh, let's start assembling these. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of assembly here today. Let's see here. Let's see how quick and easy these are to find. Maybe a little bit more light on the subject. How's that? Does that just cause shadows? Meh. Six one half dozen the other, eh, guys? Okay. Let's bring this on down. Hey! We can start getting a closer look of maybe what my hands are actually doing. Okay, so where do we want to start? We are going to start at the start uh, with figure 11A, which means we're looking for B8 and B9. Right here. Here's nine. Handy clippers. I highly recommend clippers to anyone. So let's just quickly clip these out. I'm not going to sit and make you uh, watch me do them all here, but I just want to show you how easily these all go together. And then B8, which is this one. Now, you can tell these are the colored plastics once again, but they are not the push fit. Now, they are easy to build, like extremely easy to build. Quite a few of these models are literally one piece glued to the base. They can't be much easier than that. Well, I guess they could already come on a base, but hey, let's not get picky. Okay, so these two pieces, I use my trusty Olfa. Get rid of some of these mold lines, which looking at these models, um, fantastic. Um, mold lines are very difficult to even spot. GW has been bang on with uh, these clamshell type molds to just literally making it so that there are no mold lines. Yeah. I mean, 
When I say none, I mean, you know, far and few between. You will get some when you're running up things like this perfectly smooth stack pipes. I'm loving these models. These are great models. So make sure that uh, you check out uh, Mini Wargamer J, uh, Jaded Production, JDP, um, his YouTube channel, YouTube channel, to see these in a few battle reports that we're going to do for Rogue Trader. I'm really hoping that he just wants to play through like the whole narrative campaign. Um, reading through the book, it, it's it's. Literally, take this model, this model, this model. This is your objective. Like, I, I love those the most. I really do. I love I love narrative campaigns. Uh, something more than just drop on the board, try and kill each other. I'm not a competitive player. Anyone that knows me, I'm there to have fun. I'm there to try and make sure that my opponent has fun. I think you have a social obligation when involved in a game to ensure that everyone has fun. Now, if you're at a tournament, a little bit different, right? You're at a tournament and... Uh, you know, you want to play, you want to win. You still want everyone to have fun, though. Okay, how does this go together? Just like that. Just like that. So there's the seam that I want to run the glue. Take my plastic glue. Because I'm not planning on ever taking these guys apart. There we go. As well, I am planning on uh, like the Rogue Trader side of this. I think would be absolutely fantastic as a Venator gang for Necromunda. <laughs> Looking at the models, they'd be great. I mean, it's a lot of Laws guns in that, but uh, you you could you could change out the guns easy enough. A little bit, a little bit of work, a little bit of green stuff. Anyways, I'm going to slam these together. Um, well, why don't I? Sorry, one last thing as I'm going here. I'll show you some of these little guys, how easy they are. Okay, so we're gonna go with one of these uh, these grubs. Done. Mold lines, look for mold lines. Do you see any? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really. As such, take it, you get a base. Bang, bang, done. Some of the fly swarms, it's the same thing. Clip. 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 Clean the mold lines, get a base, glue it, done. All right, eye bite, eye bite swarm, I think is what they're called. Just wonderful. This is gonna be so much fun in 40K too. I'm gonna have to find somebody that just wants to do Narrative, just fun, kind of 40k game. Because I don't imagine these would be too competitive. But again, I'm not a competitive player. Anyways, as I said, let's get some of these assembled. Be right back. Show you what they look like. Well, all right. There you are, everybody. Took me about, I'd say, 45 minutes to get the entire Gellerpox infected side of the Rogue Trader box put together. Absolutely fantastic models. They look gorgeous. They go together super, super easy. The mold lines, there's barely any mold lines whatsoever. Um, all the gates, easy to clip off. Uh, I highly suggest having a set of clippers that, you know, it's it, they're flat on the one side. That makes it easy. Uh, the mold lines, as I said, almost non-existent. Um, ended up getting one extra 25 millimeter base and one extra of the 40, but okay, let's, let's take a look. So here's, here's the main, the main man himself, thrice born with his indigestion belly. Let's see if we can get that to focus on him. There we go. That model just gorgeous. Look at the detail on these things. Fantastic. Wow. And this guy here, probably my favorite. He's got like the harpoon through his arm because he's all squid-like. But again, like this guy to be used in Blood Bowl as your Beast of Nurgle? Come on, forget about it. That's amazing. 
a little bit of seam work there might be good to uh, good to fill. These guys, like, look at the detail on these. It's fantastic. So, anyways, I've got them assembled, ready to go against uh, Midi War Gamer J. Oh, there's the neighbor starting up the lawnmower. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, yeah, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Okay, so then these guys, I mean. I'm thinking even Necromunda using these as some like chaos cultists for the close combat ones would be amazing. Uh, you could sub them in for pox walkers and your regular games of 40k or once again uh, with the seller pox infected or sorry I keep calling them seller pox Geller pox infected codex you can uh, quite easily just bring these in your games of 40k and out of the two factions this really is probably the faction more likely that people that you'll end up seeing on the tabletop. Look at these guys. Get some focus going on here. Focus. There we go. Look at the maggots and that coming out of the bellies. And then, uh, oh, the Nurglings. Got, well, actually, I guess they're called Glitchlings in this. They're a cousin of the Nurglings. But look at these things. Focus. Focus, and then you can look at these things. Come on, I know you want to. It had focused. Come on, keeps wanting to focus on. There they are. Look at him. He's got a wooden sword and a peg leg. He's a pirate. He's a pirate. And then uh, this one here. He's like pulling on his own head, stretching it out. He's fighting with a broken bottle. Come on. That's hilarious. A few more here we'll take a look at. This Nurgling is just kind of holding all his bits. What am I going to do with these? Sorry, Glitchling. Not Nurglings, Glitchling. And then this one here. <laughs> you know, their mom said they couldn't get along, so uh, sewed them together. Made them hang out with each other so they get along. Look at that. He's like missing a finger. No, that wasn't a clipping accident. Great. Well, so, so then we got some of the grubs. Some of the grubs. They're good, fun, disgusting. Spitting out some bile. Yeah. It's great. It's got like a head that's devouring there. <laughs> Fantastic. And then we got these these mites. I mean they do. They look like mites. They look like fleas, you know, jumping through the air. These things. How can you not love these Murgle these Murgle? These Nurgle models. I just fantastic. Can't say it enough. Fantastic. And then the eye bite, eye bite swarms, I think is what they're called. Little bloat flies. A little bloat drone there. Stick a nurgling on the back of him. <laughs> wow. There they are. Excellent. And lastly, this one where it's all flying out of the rib cage. That one reminds me quite a bit of the Malign Sorcery. It's from the Malign Sorcery where it's flying out of the head. And that's like, I mean, you could just do a whole scenery thing with this too. Anyway, getting sidetracked. But yes, so right back there, you need to play. You need that the Kill Team Core rules. And then the rules that come in the Rogue Trader in order to enjoy these to their fullest like to thank everyone. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Tune in to Mini Wargamer J, uh, J Did Productions, JDP, um, on YouTube. And stay tuned for a narrative campaign. Also, check back my channel. Once I get these all painted up, I'll post again, show you what they look like. But until then, guys, just have fun with it. Okay, right now, got all the basing material done. All I use for that is uh, 
Just some cheap crazy glue from the dollar store. Uh, chunks of granny grating. Um, old leftover chunks of uh, sprue. Uh, usually the resin stuff because it's round so you can make these nice like pipe like looking pieces. You'll see on quite a few of the bases. And then uh, some sawdust that I just kind of, it's very fine sawdust that I mixed with black paint and just let it dry and yeah. So you, you see the basing there and then we'll get back to it uh, and take these and paint them. See it's chunks of sprue but just wait see what they look like when they're all painted up. You'll, uh, you'll see what I was going for. You know some ruins and and whatnot. Anyways, be right back with the paint. Okay, so now it's all based. It's all being primed. Went with the different colors. Black for the, the mites. I got uh, this white for the flies. The, what are these guys called? These guys. And then the big guys. And then I went with like a tan for the grubs and the um, glitchlings. So anyways, yeah, let's uh, get some more paint on these. Okay, so here we are with our finished painted Geller Pox Infected. Now, all the models you see here are the ones that come in the Rogue Trader kit. So we have the Curse Mites back here Eye Stinger Swarms, the Vox Shamblers, Glitchlings, the Hull Breakers, led with Nasher Screamer, you have Sludge Grubs, and then Vulgar Thrice Cursed. So again, a final look at how they are when they're painted. I really enjoyed painting them. They went together real easy. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Again, please subscribe, please like, leave comments below. What do you think of this new kill team, the Geller Pox Infected? Do you think that they'll stand a chance against some of the previous kill teams? Once again, just have fun with it, guys.